Hey friends, welcome back once again to my channel. I have a savvy mommy and welcome if you are new here. I am Kshitij and I make DIYs, art, home decor and lifestyle videos. And I hope you all are doing great. And I hope you all missed my videos too because I wasn't posting for a while now. Yeah, life happens and uh, still in today's video i'm sharing three adorable seashell crafts that are super easy to make and they can cheer up any corner of your house so uh, if you enjoy watching today's video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and without wasting any time let's begin with diy number one for the first diy i'm creating a beautiful moon seashell dream catcher and we all know that our moon is responsible for tides and also that we can uh, see a lot of sea life during low tide uh, indoors yep so if you want to collect seashells and experience and watch uh, sea creatures low tide intervals are the best and we as a family love going to the beach almost every fortnight if not every week and we love collecting seashells uh, going on inter walks and uh, watch people fishing these are part of our island lifestyle and also my inspiration for today's first diy wherein i'm making a moon dream catcher so to start with i cut two cardboard pieces in the shape of moon and i glued them together to make it sturdier and next i covered it with the help of craft paper and blue color once done i glued jute twine all around the circumference of the moon to give it frame and structure next i got these seashells that have been handpicked from the beach and you can see how raw and rustic they look and they are unlike the ones that we buy from uh, markets i also had this fox starfish that i'm going to glue to the moon along with the seashells like so and just trying to cover the entire moon i also glued some glitter and pearls for a touch of bling Next, I added these twines at the base of the moon and I am going to embellish these with some pearls and uh, some seashells and you can also use feathers, beads, whatever you have at hand to decorate the dream catcher. And while I am working on making the base part of the dream catcher, uh, let me tell you that today I am participating in the room by room challenge and it is hosted by Devin from the channel uh, Freckled Mom DIY and she is absolutely amazing with all her DIYs. Her Instagram is loaded with so much of inspiration. Do check it out do check her out guys she's amazing and the co-host for today is sarah from can sarah diy it and both of them are amazing creators i have linked their channels in the description box below do check them out and also don't forget to watch the entire playlist there are amazing videos coming out the moon dream catcher is coming together and it looks gorgeous i can't believe it is looking so pretty and it was so inexpensive to make and it was so also so easy to make so let me know how you like this uh, beautiful dream catcher i think it will look great in any corner of the house moving on to diy number two I'm creating a beachy and under the sea mood board and since we live in an island country we love going to the beach especially my daughter so I'm making a mood board to capture the beach mood 
and uh, in this decor piece i'm going to reflect our memories of going to the beach and for that i've taken a small cardboard piece and i have divided into sections and each section i'm going to add a nautical element i use watercolors to paint the board in various sea shades and i believe watercolors work best if you want to paint uh, sea or any water body or sky the colors really merge gorgeously i have used watercolors in the shade of uh, dark blue prussian blue sky blue turquoise uh, green light green so basically merging and mixing all the colors to find the right shade because no two sea colors are the same so many seas have so many different shades so i try to incorporate all the uh, shades of the sea so that they merge really nicely and they all in all they look gorgeous on the mood board Once all the blocks were done and uh, the next step was to add the sea elements and for that I'm um, using texture paste. I made a cone out of plastic and I filled in the texture paste into it and you can also make uh, such cones using acrylic colors too in white color or in any uh, color of your preference and I'm going to draw the elements of under the sea. I started writing and drawing on the board and uh, I made an octopus and uh, some beach signs and a conch shell, a seashell and basically all the elements that I really find fascinating um, and they just scream beach and nautical. Once the texture paste was completely dry, uh, I let it dry for around 4 hours. Then I, the final step is I glued my daughter's picture on one side of the board and our beachy nautical memory board is ready. You can add a magnet sheet at the back and uh, you can just hang it, uh, mount it on your refrigerator or or on an easel and this beautiful beachy mood board is ready you can also try making a beachy mood board and i'm sure all of you are going to love it because who doesn't like uh, going to the beach collecting seashells and also making memories and moving on to diy number three for DIY number 3, I wanted to try something that I had not done earlier. So this is basically an experiment. And yes, uh, experiments always are not very successful. So this DIY was um, partly not successful. Yet I'm sharing it because DIYs are DIYs. And we learn as we go. We experiment, we fail and then we try again. And, and that's how everything is that's how we move forward so yes um, here what i'm trying to do is i have taken this glass bottle and i have tried uh, a string at one end of the glass bottle and i have poured in few drops of nail polish remover and yes you guessed it right i'm trying to crack open this bottle from one end the next step that i'm going to do is i'm going to just light a match match stick and i'm going to put the string on fire so that the string burns with the help of the nail polish remover and i'll let it uh, burn for a while because i want that um, hot effect on the glass bottle once the glass was uh, sufficiently hot, I put it inside ice cold water and with a click it just snapped off and uh, yes, but the 
uh, edges were rough it was not smooth and even so i tried making a little pearl border so that the edges look smooth moving on i'm going to do glass painting on this bottle and for that i have painted it with a black marker and i'm filling it with glass colors in c shades and uh, this also resembles sea glass and uh, next i'm stringing some uh, seashells and some sea glass fox sea glass and i'm going to place it from the bottom of the bottle and i'm going to uh, bring it from the mouth i hope you understand what i'm just trying to uh, explain here i'm just going to put the seashells on a string and i'm going to pass it through the mouth of the bottle and in this way the uh, seashells are going to just dangle around and make a really uh, nice sound so this is basically a kind of um, a wind chime and it looks really really good even at night when you put a fairy light inside and for all my friends who have watched until now thanks a lot for watching i love you guys and i hope you are enjoying today's video and uh, this glass bottle of mine is coming together so friends this is how my glass bottle wind chime with seashells look and it also works as a night light super gorgeous with all the sea shades and the sea glass look i am really lo loving it i hope you enjoyed watching today's video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching and do share it with your family and friends i shall see you all in the next video till then bye bye and take care